For at least 200 years, the Earth has been mapped fairly accurately. Take a look at that map on the left-hand side. Look carefully at it. Ever since the Earth was mapped accurately, people have noticed that some things seem a little strange. For example, that the east coast of South America and the west coast of Africa look very suspiciously like they could fit together. Once you see that, it doesn't take a genius to see also that Madagascar, that island off the southeast coast of Africa, looks like it could fit right into Africa. And that the Arabian Peninsula looks like it could sit right down into Africa. If you look at the sort of picture map on the right hand side, you can see how South America and Africa look very suspiciously like they could go together, although today there are 3,000 miles of ocean between them. The first person to make an attempt at describing scientifically what appears to be going on with all of our eyes was a German meteorologist. His name was Alfred Wegener. And in 1915, he proposed what he called continental drift or continental drift theory. This is the first idea proposed that suggested all the present continents once existed as a single supercontinent that he referred to as Pangaea. Pangaea means all lands in Greek. In other words, all the continents glued together as one massive continent. But they spent the last 225 million years breaking, or as he put it, drifting apart. He used, of course, this is science, so it's evidence, fact, and then replication-based. Fossil evidence, stratigraphic evidence, which is related to uh, sedimentary layers of rock, and ancient glacial evidence. Not the glaciers themselves, but what the glaciers leave behind in terms of the landforms. Take a look at these maps. The upper left-hand corner, you can see 225 million years ago, there's Pangaea, when all of the continents were all glued together. Then if you look to the right, you can see 150 million years ago, the continents began to break up. Down at the bottom left, 100 million years ago, you can see that North America and Europe are still glued together, but South America and Africa are separating. Take a look at where India is at. That's going to come back later on. See where India is? Kind of in the Southern Ocean and what would be the Indian Ocean today. And notice Australia and Antarctica. And then take a look at the Earth today and take a look at Australia, how that Southern concave part of Australia, how it broke off of Antarctica and where India is today and then where South America and Africa are. This is some of the evidence that Wegener used. You can see these ancient three animals and one set of plants. And you can see that each one of these, if you push the continents back together, where they lived was in a perfect biome. However, if you spread the continents out, really it kind of defies the ability to think, really, to believe that South America and Africa were, for example, always 3,000 miles apart. And what, these animals got on little boats and went back and forth between these places? It seems highly unlikely.